Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 8 of Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship Tournament 2004. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, in the last part I did unlock a new opponent after battling a other new opponent multiple times in the form of Rex Raptor. Now we got Bones and apparently he likes to use traps. His attack monsters rank in 4, defense 3, strategy 4, intellect 2, and lock 1. So he doesn't get lucky draws, but he does know what he's doing with the cards he has. And knows how to make them work together. So this could be a problem. I'm gonna need a Jinzo if I'm gonna have a great chance against him. But I can always use my own traps. First, let's play Pot of Greed. Okay, so what am I gonna do next? I think I'll bring in Mystical Elf in defense mode. And in my turn. You move, Bonesy boy! Ugh, Dark Hole. You know what? I'm not gonna give you the satisfaction. There we go. <laughs> idiot. Good thing I got rid of that. That would have cost me a lot of monsters. If I kept attacking. And knowing me, I usually do. Okay, no reason to bring in Magic Jammer yet. So as long as I got Imperial Order, I should be alright. I will, however, summon Whiptail Crow, or better yet... What's the attack bar on this? 800. I'm not sure if that's Torrential Tribute. If it is... Hmm... Let's find out. Doesn't look like it is. I got an idea. Just in case that's a Mirror Force. And I have a feeling that's gonna be a Mirror Force. It was! Ha <laughs> ha! I was on to you, boy! Better to attack with a Mystical Elf rather than risk my uh, stronger monster in the form of Whiptail Crow. And there we go! So now he has no traps on the field for now. I have a feeling that's going to change real quickly. Ooh, Summon Skull. That's going to be a mug I don't want to chug in the near future. Okay, now i got to think about how I'm going to counter that. Ooh, just found it right away. i got to keep Imperial Order active, because if I don't, Gravekeeper Servant will be allowed to be used again. I gotta find a way to get rid of it. That's good. And now we reap the rewards. Witch of the Black Forest. Okay. Stone Ogre Grotto. Ryu ran! Axe of Despair. Another Summon Skull! Okay, let me put Gamma in defense mode. Guardian of the Throne Room in attack mode. Flame Cerberus, Dark Hole, Man Eater Bug. Okay, I'll put you face down. No sense to leave you face up. And of course you would attack the one monster you can destroy. That's okay, it destroys you too. Fairy Witch. Okay, I'm guessing the Fairy Witch was discarded. Sure, I'll pay it again. Pay it forward, boys! Okay, so this is looking pretty decent. I don't think I'm up against it at this point, so I think it'll be a fair idea to... Here's the thing, do I want to bring in Blue Eyes White Dragon now? I don't think it'd be a good idea. I'm instead going to go for Flame Cerberus. If I have to worry about that Summon Skull again, at least I have a Trap Hole. And I'm not going to be using my Graceful Dice because it'll just be negated. There we go. And now for the next attacker. It's time to reclaim the lead. Wait, did I ever have the lead in this battle? 
or duel, I might have, but it was very short. Maybe I didn't have a lead at all, until now. Alright, while you move, I have a sip of my coffee. Hmm. It's good to keep the throat hydrated. <laughs> oh my god. Well, that was useless! You still got to discard! And now you got two Gravekeeper servants on the field. None of them are going to be used. Imperial Order, the unsung hero of this battle, let me tell ya. I'd say his secondary MVP would have to be Cyberjar, because it saved my life from that Summon Skull. If I didn't get rid of that Summon Skull, I would have lost. But it way too late to use Trap Hole, because it was already out on the field. So there we go, we just completed the comeback. So far, so good. Managed to get at least one win on every opponent I have so far. I still like to get some more cards from certain booster packs, though, because there are three more opponents I should be unlocking. Um, what next? I think I'm gonna go with Red Eyes again. Okay, none of these are that special. I mean, Final Flame is just like Ukazi's uh, stepsister that's still in the boiler room. Anyways. Okay, I got Esperoba unlocked by getting at least 50% of the Red Eyes cards. Clairvoyance? I'm guessing that's probably just trap cards that allow him to see what's in my hand. Okay, Esperoba, you're on. Let's dance, boy. You don't have your brothers to save you now. Okay, so Midnight Fiend is not a tough monster. In fact, I'm pretty sure most of his trap cards are probably something like Shadow of Eyes or something. Did I just say something way too much? Light of Intervention, okay. What does that do again? Monster cards cannot be played face down, alright. I had a feeling because that was the type of trap card that Esperoba would use. Remember, that plays into clairvoyance, meaning that no monsters can be faced down. Therefore, he can see them. But when it comes to flip effects, Light of Intervention's gotta go. I gotta remember that, too. So I'm gonna save my Mystical Space Typhoon for possibly another threat. Ugh, Regeki. Fire Eye? Well, he doesn't really have strong monsters. He does have a Jinzo, though. And that's probably what worries me. Yep, see, that's what I needed Light of Intervention for, to be destroyed. Excuse me. So I think it might actually be a good idea. Should I? Let's save that for later. First, I'm going to summon Seven Color Fish. Well, another Light of Intervention. That was pointless. To be honest, I don't really consider that a threat. I mean, you want my monsters face up? Sure, I'll put them face up. I may not be able to use my flip effects, but that's okay. As long as I still got my heavy hitters, I can get the job done regardless. Besides, it's not like I have a deck full of flip effect monsters that would have screwed me over. Monster Reborn? Okay, now this could be a problem. Never mind! I actually thought he was going to bring in Jinzo that turn. Maybe he might have been hesitant because that would have like negated his own traps. But what if he never had it at all? It's very possible. I think it's time to swing heavy here. Considering he stole one of my monsters and made no use of it. You just made it a meat shield. Not a very good strategy, Espa. I thought you were supposed to be clairvoyant. Did you not predict that that would go wrong? Anyways, your move. Ah, my coffee's still at the perfect temperature, which I'm very happy about. Like, not too hot, not too cold. Just right. Uh, part of me wants to use Monster Reborn, but not yet. 
Does he have any good monsters in his graveyard? No. They're all garbage. Though part of me just wants to swing for the fences right away, but even if I did, I would not be able to have enough to do it. Would I? I only got one monster in the graveyard, and that's Faith Bird. So if I take, like, a... I probably have, like, three attackers. No, that would not be enough to get the finishing blow. It's far too soon to be considering using my Monster Reborn. Not any good monsters in the graveyard at all. So what's the point? Alright, so I say one more turn. As long as things keep staying the same, I should get the win. Your move! Let's see what you got now! Doesn't look like you have much, you only got two cards in your hand. Ooh, that's a Feast Down card. Okay, I think to play it safe, I'm gonna use my Mystical Space Typhoon to destroy it. Oh, what was it anyway? Let's find out. Ah, his third light of intervention! Do you have anything else going for ya? It's like, how bad luck that you have three of the same card already, and all it is is just Light of Intervention. If it was like Force Raider or Gemini L for something, that would have been better. Not Light of Intervention. Okay, let's go with a Black Skull Dragon pack. Uh, none of these that spectacular. Okay, non-zombie type monster attacking electric blizzard can now attack you throwing turn. Well, it might come in handy, but it's not worth putting in my deck. Okay, I still did not unlock a new opponent, unfortunately. So why don't we go random here? That's probably the out of all the um not seven, eight opponents that I have. The one I usually look forward to the least. Because of all these face down cards. Well, let's see if I got Heavy Storm. Yes, I do, actually! That was the first card I drew! There, that wipes out most of your good traps. But none of them actually destroy my monsters. Bring back a monster, though. Oh well. Let's just attack hard right away. He says, I do need to build up my victories against Grandpa. Try to get, like, a lot of victories against pretty much every opponent that I have. Because I might unlock other booster packs that way as well, or new opponents. I don't know what that is. <laughs> you tell me. I think it's best to just attack with one monster and leave it at that. Ah, oh, Jar agreed. Yeah, it does feel like a wasted opportunity. Alright, so to make up for it, I think I'm gonna summon... What should I summon? Yep, Dark Forest Soldier number two. That way my next turn be a little bit more fruitful. Upstart Goblin? Well, that only benefits me. Oh my god. Pot agreed. Can your turn end, please? Thank you. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll just set this. Just set it and forget it, like a Rompopila thingy. Rotisserie grill? Jeez. Yeah, those days when I was a kid, I was always watching that infomercial because the food just was so awesome looking, but you know that if you made it yourself, it would not look as good at all. Seriously. Anyways, I think I'm gonna end my turn now. That trap card was not a mirror force. We established that. Could have been a trap hole or a torrential tribute, though. Did 
I guess we'll find out soon enough. Maybe it's just a trap hole. Ah, Torrential Tribute. Good thing I got Monster Reborn. So it won't be a wasted turn. So I'm gonna pick out the best one. Yep, Master Kionchi it is. May not have been the best turn, considering I lost a lot of monsters. But how does one simply know? You pretty much just have to guess. I don't know, maybe the longer I waited, the more I would have screwed myself. Okay, I say I'm very close to winning. I don't know what that is. He's playing bold. I'll give him that. So that's what it was, Jar Greed. Okay. Now I feel a little bit more confident. Ooh. Okay, you got at least three of them. It's not bad. I had like a 60% success rate on bringing in Exodia. But 60% might as well be zero. If you're not gonna play them. Which would be absolutely stupid if you did. Black Skull, baby! Elegant Egotist? I mean, that would've been alright if I actually used Harpy Lady Monsters, which I don't. Okay, so that seemed like a pretty wasteful draw as well. And again, I did not unlock opponent number 8. Which I think is Weevil? Let's go random again. That's Yugi. Okay, I'm doing better against Yugi lately. Which I'm very proud of. Let's just hope it stays that way. Ooh, Barrel Dragon. I love you, baby. Because I can just destroy monsters without attacking them. If I'm lucky enough. See, you would not attack otherwise. Like I said before, the AI is a bit cheap. But I mean, I have to live with it, because I'm the one let's playing this game. I knew what I was getting myself into. But you know what? Bring it on. It doesn't scare me. See what you got, Yugi. What you got face down? Magic Cylinder! Ooh, that negates the attack and it does damage to me. Well played, Yugi boy. And sadly, that Miyotoko will not be affected by Trap Hole. Fair enough. Looks like I'm uh, up against it here. So I think I'll just use the Whiptail Crow, and then knock it down to size. There we go. Time to get some momentum going again. Come on, bring in a Gemini Elf in attack mode. I dare ya. I double dog dare ya. I knew it! Ha ha ha! Now who has the heart of the cards? Yugi just played the fart of the cards there. I mean, that was just... Just played right into my hands. Okay, so... I think it'd be a good idea to actually use Monster Reborn right now. And bring in Gemini Elf. Hmm... What should I do? Part of me wants to bring in Barrel Dragon right now. But I don't think it'll be necessary. Let's just go in with two Gemini Elves. And then on the next turn, I'll probably bring in Barrel Dragon. Because that way, I'll get the most damage output. There we go. One turn away from victory. If Gemini Elf gets another direct attack. Or my Whiptail Crow, because it can beat it. Hmm. 
Okay, now be a prime opportunity to bring in the barrel dragon. Alright, where is it? Where is it? There it is. You know what? I'm gonna keep Yugi's Gemini Elf on the field. Because you know how I feel about just uh, using my opponent's monsters to get the finishing blow. I'm gonna activate that special effect, and if I'm lucky, I can destroy that monster without attacking it. I can! Awesome! Hmm, part of me wants to destroy him. You know what, Barrel Dragon? You're the unsung hero. You get the honors. Yeah! Victory! For me. Again! Okay, we're gonna go with another Black Skull Dragon pack. I'm pretty sure I'm close to unlocking Weevil. Sinister Serpent! Ugh. Well, Brown Attacker Bugroth is okay. Just more mediocre, given what I already have. And I still don't have Weevil unlocked. How many more packs of Black Skull Dragon do I have to open to get this guy? And I believe I have to unlock some more Black Luster Soldier cards to get, uh, I think it's Mako Tsunami. So in the next part, I'll have some more duels. Goodbye.